Hello, this is a, a really quick sketch, I guess it's, it's a painting really, of Sinufe um, ZL-O-B51-0. And in that system, you've got planet two, it's got two moons, and the, the two moons are, are really close together or they have interacting orbits and, and basically they go through each other. And it makes for an entertaining view. One of the planets, has got this argon atmosphere, it, which makes it really interesting. It's it kind of red, but also blue. And this particular picture that I'm doing here was 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 blue. It, I don't quite understand it. It was high in the atmosphere. It, it it appeared to be red, so it's got this this bluey misty surface. The moons did some fun stuff as they were colliding. There's a darker moon and a lighter moon. And, and I, f I was trying to land repeatedly and uh, I found that the game wanted me to be on the, the other moon and therefore my altitude was incorrect for landing on the moon I was trying to land on. And I was going into the moon and initially the game had glitched so I got in there but getting out again didn't always work well because by that point the surface had realised it was solid again so so you could find yourself in a kind of crash loop which is uh, which is kind of funny. That's why I did it in a DBX when I went there. This is when I landed when the surface of the moon was still solid and uh, looking up into the sky at the ever increasing sphere above. The largeness of a moon makes you think of being out in a field with the full moon low on the horizon. It feels really real and it gives it an additional sense of believability that this moon, you feel like you could touch it, it feels more real. It was a really quick picture to do and it was really unassuming and I didn't think much to it, but I, I actually really enjoyed doing that. And it was a fun experience watching the planets crashing. Anyway, thank you for listening. All right, bye.